today and Sylvie and today I'm going to answer a question that I get quite often is uh, which brand of spray paint should I buy? So I've got two right here, I've got Loop and 94. I've only got two but basically um, it's sort of the same with a lot of other brands. I've actually got a video with I think maybe 10 different brands and I'm uh, trying them out so if you want to have a look at this video check up here and you can see it. So basically there are two families of paint. One is a graffiti paint and the other one is an art paint. So normal, so it, it's, it's um, you've got a few different variations and of course you can use any paint with anything that you do but just one is more suitable for one or another type of work. So typically when you're doing graffiti or if you're doing characters that are flat or anything with flat surfaces graffiti paint is better because it's um, the spray is thicker it covers better and in most cases the um, the pressure is a bit higher as well so you you paint quicker and it just works better art paints are a bit different um, it's um, the spray is a lot thinner the paint is a lot thinner um, the pressure in most cases is reduced quite a lot and also it just allows um, you know it's got more colors in most cases and it allows for a better handling altogether. You can do pieces with a 94 or another art paint and you can also do characters with these. The problem is you don't get the same type of detail. If you're doing um, a photorealism with this one, you can do it, but it's just not as comfortable and it's not as easy and everything. This is just more intuitive. So art paint, I mean, 94, so MTN 94, Montana Gold, um, Belton, NBQ is actually really good, I uh, started using it. Uh, NBQ is very similar to 94. I don't know what it's like in uh, really st stupidly cold or hot weather. Um, I've tried this and Belton and I can vouch for them. NBQ, I don't know. Um, this is, uh, and the good thing about these is they're cheaper. Most of the time, uh, graffiti paints are cheaper. So if it's loop, flame, uh, uh, style yard, sorry, uh, yard master, um, just any, you know, iron like all of these paints are a lot cheaper by maybe about one or two pounds, um, which doesn't seem like much, but by the time you get, you know, 100 cans, it gets a bit expensive. So typically, I use these caps, um, Skinny Pro and uh, Astro Cap because and of, um, they're different colors as well. One is black, one is white, so it's really easy when I'm um, scoping, scoping caps. I know it's either a fat or a skinny. It's just easier for me, but you can have whatever. But what I like about using a um, 94 is when I use an Astro on this, I can get really thin lines. I've tried to use this on a Montana Gold and it's just not the same. I have to use either, I mean for thin lines, I have to use a, a Skinny Pro or the green uh, level, you know, the small one, but every time I use a, an Astro or a forget about pink dot, but when I use an Astro, I just don't really, it just drips, I can't really control it so well. With Peloton, I guess it's fine, um, it spits a bit for me, but it's, it's still okay. But I just find this one is, is the best for what I do, which is um, photorealism stuff, uh, anything from portraits to you know, just, just scenes with some detail. I kind of mix the, the jagged edge with the detail stuff, but I think this works pretty well. This is okay. Um, I get on okay with it, but it's just not really for me. Funny thing is with my photo reel, as you may have seen in other videos, I only use about five colors. So the colors is not really the thing that I need because obviously with this type of paint, I can overlap so much. Um, but with this, it's kind of, it's too thick. So as I'm trying to overlap the colors, it's just, it doesn't blend properly. And with this, it allows me to only use about five colors and just overlap them because it's so, it's so thin. You can work with the transparency. And if you have two colors, you can make, you know, 10 different shades, you know, when you work on the skin tones. So because I use, I think I use three, three skin tones. Um, well, I use a beige, a brown, a black, a white, and transparent black. These are my main uh, colors for skin tones and I can paint everybody. I also use uh, a red, uh, a green, a blue, a yellow, I think, um, sometimes, uh, to help those colors for the skin tones, for like blemishes and whatnot. 
So I find when you've got um, a paint that's very low pressure and also very thin, it allows you to do really good blends and it's perfect for art stuff. So to answer your question, which paints do I recommend when it comes to painting? If you're doing uh, characters, photo reel, and you want to paint that's um, overall good for everything, I would say either Montana 94 or Belton. Uh, these are the two that I can vouch for in crazy weather. Uh, it's good for it's good for graph, it's good for um, characters, it's good for everything. I really like this stuff. This, um, it's good if you want to get a lot of paint and paint a bit less and also do like some really good coverage because that's another thing as well when you want to cover an area perfectly and have like you know don't spend don't waste too much paint and and time trying to fill an area this is always better than this because this is thin so you'll be there a bit longer filling it in as opposed to this will just give you like an opaque um opaque color straight away so yeah that's it if you're doing graph opaque stuff and um quick and whatever this is what you want and by this i mean also montana black is one that a lot of people use um i like um all these other paints it's going to be good for this and this is if you want to do art stuff or general purpose i hope this answered uh, your question and shed some light on um, all of this and uh, i will see you next monday because i'm back doing videos every monday Probably next time I'll do one about photography. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, catch you guys next week. If you like the video, please put a like and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed to it. And check out my Instagram if you want. See you later.